Hi, my name is Gordon Crenshaw. I'm a principal systems engineer with Progress Software, and today I'm going to show you how you can download the Spark SQL ODBC preview driver and configure it to connect to Spark SQL. If you're not familiar with Spark SQL or need help getting started, I've created two other videos that you can look at. The first one is where to download the Hortonworks 2.2 sandbox and install data. The second is where to download the Spark SQL software and install it onto Hortonworks 2.2 and configure it so that you can use it with the Spark SQL ODBC and JDBC drivers. If you need to get the Spark SQL ODBC preview driver, you can get that from the Progress Software website by going to progress.com. From the main menu, choose Products and Solutions, click on Data Sources, and then under Big Data, click on Spark SQL. We'll give you all the information you need to know about Spark and the ODBC and JDBC drivers. You'll fill out the registration information and you'll receive an email with the links to download the ODBC and JDBC drivers. I've downloaded the Windows 32-bit ODBC Spark SQL driver. We'll open up the folder where the installer is located and the installer that you need to use is Progress Data Direct ODBC Preview Win32 Install. I'll double click on that file to start the installer. We'll click Yes. I'll click Next, accept the license agreement, and click Next. Specify the directory where I want to install the driver, and I'll choose the default location. You can have the installer create default data sources for you, but I'm going to skip this step and create the data source myself and click Next. Confirm the installation. Now I'm getting a message that says the firewall has blocked some features of this program and it looks like that the Java program is trying to be used. That's fine, so I'm just going to allow access and click Done. Now that the driver has been installed, you should see a program group from the start menu that says DataDirect ODBC Apache Spark Preview, as I have here. To create a data source, we'll want to go into the ODBC Administrator and we'll click Add. And we'll look for the Spark SQL Preview driver in our list of available drivers. So we scroll down we see DataDirect Preview Apache Spark SQL Wire Protocol. Click Finish. We'll give this a data source name. I'll call it Spark SQL. You can provide a description if you want. The host name is the IP address or the host name for the virtual machine where we installed Spark SQL in the previous video. And that IP address is 172.16.57.142. We'll go to the next field. The port number, we have the default port number is 10,000. But if you remember when we started the Spark SQL service, we chose that port number to be 10,001. So I'll change the port number to 10,001. And the database name is default. If we want to change any of the advanced settings, we can click on the Advanced tab, or we can change the Security settings and click on the Security tab. But I'm not going to change any of those settings, so I'm going to click Test Connect. We'll get prompted for a username and password, and the Hortonworks installation and the Spark installation that we chose doesn't have security, so you can just put in a dummy user ID and password. I'll just use the words Test and Test, and click OK. And as you see, we got connected. So the next step is we can use this ODBC data source with one of our favorite ODBC applications, such as Microsoft Excel and MS Query. So I'll start with Microsoft Excel. We'll go to the main menu, choose Data, click From Other Sources, and choose from Microsoft Query. And you'll see our sparse SQL data source that we just created. We'll select that and click OK. Again, you can verify that the connection information is the same, and it is. We'll add our dummy user ID and password, and connect. And now we can see the tables that are available in our data source. So we're going to use the Starbucks data. So I'll click on that table and click the arrow to bring over all the columns into our query. 
We'll click next. I won't add any filters. We'll click next. I won't do any sorting. I'll click next. And I want to return this data to Microsoft Excel, so I'll click finish. We need to specify where the data is going to get imported. I'll just click OK and take the defaults. And there's our data. So that's how you can use the Spark SQL ODBC driver to query the data in Hadoop using Spark and use it with your ODBC applications.